here is the neighborhood for 4316 Northeast 76. It's a nice neighborhood. A couple, couple tall skinny houses uh, next door and across the street. The one right next door is pending. So here is the front yard. Very charming little porch area. Um, garage. Roof looks newer. Flashing looks good. Uh, the gutters look newer. So walking in the front door, wood siding, a little rough on the paint, but um, I'm not seeing any exposed wood. Nice wood door. So you walk in, um, oak floors, floors are a little rough. They definitely could handle a refinishing. And then there's some areas where they've put a lot of nails and stuff. So a um, wood floor company would want to sink those and put some um, wood filler in. We've got a nice corner window here. These are original windows in the front. And then this one on the side is a newer double paned window. Wood burning fireplace. Uh, we've got a um, dining area that's open to the kitchen also with double windows. Here is the kitchen. So they've done a little bar. It's got tile on it. Marmoleum flooring. Looks like original uh, cabinets. We do have a gas cooktop and an older um, fan vent. Lots of great light. There's no lights on in here now and we're really getting a lot of good light um it's nice that there's this area because there's not a ton of counter space over here we've got one plug here and then we've got a plug up here and then i don't see any other ones so pretty light on plugs um here's then the stairway to the basement which i'll bring you to next uh, refrigerator storage above it and kind of a pantry area so we've got a hallway that is off of the living room and the kitchen again oh and this marmoleum floor has got quite a stain on it um, and there's no way to get that out so you really would need new flooring um, unless you put something there but then you don't really want to put something there because there's that heating grate I'm gonna go back through the dining room and the living room and use this hallway. We do have a little built-in next to the fireplace. Um, little telephone counter linen closet. And then we have another linen closet. So the, um, yeah, so the floors throughout really need to be refinished. So here's the bathroom. We've got a tile surround, marmoleum floor again, toilet sink, nice size, really high ceilings. We've got bedroom number one. I would say it's probably about 10 by 12. Looks like maybe they had carpet because there's no quarter round at the bottom of this molding. There's a little gap, so it looks like maybe some carpet was pulled up, but they just didn't refinish the floor. Um, this wall does have quarter round. And then this faces the backyard neighbors. I love all the corner windows. These are original windows with storm windows added. Here's the closet. container again as you can see floor worse in some areas than others I think refinishing the floors before moving in would be great um, here's bedroom number two so this bedroom is the one that has the access to the backyard so usually probably a guest room office that sort of thing since people are having to walk through it so you walk out onto a deck nice backyard um, deck has a little bit of rot in areas um, you know it's fine deck 
and then you'll see um, this uh, door to the garage. Really quiet here. The roof looks great. Newer vent shows that it's a new roof. Um, here's an area of some bubbling paint here. So foundation looks good. I think the paint is newer. It's just whoever painted it didn't do a great job of prep work. So it's bubbling and stuff in areas. Oh, this side, this is interesting. This side window opens, both side windows open, so there's a screen on both sides of these, which is kind of nice. Um, I think this room is probably maybe 10 by 10. Uh, so through the kitchen, going down the stairs. So here's a door to the driveway and then to the garage. Let me just show you because I can't get it open and I couldn't get the garage open, but you did see, you can go around the side there and then you did see from the backyard, there was the door to the garage. So here's the stairway going down. So we've got an unfinished basement, um, good stairway, good head height. Looks like they started framing it in. Um, here's the water heater. Water heater needs earthquake straps on it. It's an electric water heater. Looks like an older one. Washer dryer with a sink in between. We've got some standard um, old house um, foundation crumbling. It could use a skim coat. It doesn't smell wet down here. Um, I'm not seeing it totally falling apart. Again, it looks like they have were framing it in to maybe finish this off. This looks like a newer main water line. Actually, I think even out to the street maybe a newer main water line, but then it does run into older original galvanized plumbing. So if anyone was gonna finish this, I would definitely um, pull out that galvanized plumbing and put in PEX plumbing before uh, drywalling the ceiling. We've got a newer high efficiency Lennox furnace, which is a good brand. Um, they had a little crawl space here, and again, this area is all framed. So nice high floors. Here's your waistline, so here's the bathroom, so potentially you could add uh, another bathroom here. They may need to, depending on how deep this is, if you did a bathroom in the basement, they may need to drill down to, um, if, to get to that sewer to have uh, it sloped enough. And then the base of the stairs in front is a room that was probably, you know, finished out in the 50s, wood, uh, wood paneling. They've got kind of a vinyl tile, um, ceiling tiles that are, there's a good chance these are asbestos, so they would need to be tested before they were removed. Um, fireplace. And then over on this side, really another unfinished area. We've got a 100 amp panel. It looks like there's some space on it. This panel is not a safety panel concern. It's not one of the brands uh, that's known to be a fire hazard. So this, this basement, I think, has a lot of um, potential. It seems like a good house and needs some cosmetic updates um, that probably reflects the pricing. It's got quite a bit of charm. Uh, here is a list of the trees and you can see when it's in full bloom it's probably a pretty beautiful garden here. Um, it has a garbage disposal. It's a nice, nice house. 